Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Any Dwarf who chooses to walk topside chooses to be excluded. Wait, look at me. You're the Exile. This begins with you. Sorrow finished what your kinslaying started. Your father is dead. Kinslayer? Oh, you're not getting in. Threatening a sovereign guardsman only shows how far from House Idukan you've fallen. The Wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. What? She's a traitor! And a kinslayer! You said it yourself! In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowman was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Do not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> <laughs> Exile, you were not to show your face here again. I have enough crime to deal with. I shouldn't have to dump you back in the deep roads. That's right. You found pity, Topside. The Warden should have better sense when choosing allies. Surfacers and their cloud-addled heads. Fine, oh illustrious Grey Warden. What do you want? surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Yes, you should. Have a mo Oh, I actually was talking to your companions. Or are you from the surface, too? Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. I want to go to the Circle to study. I assure you that desire will depart the moment you arrive. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. 
it would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Alright guys, welcome to set 7. Let's play Dragon Age Origins, my warrior playthrough. Now my audio may sound a little bit different. I'm still trying to get the uh, right setting on the mic. That way you don't hear that annoying ass back feed that you hear whenever I talk. So, I think I finally got the sweet spot. Anywho, uh, I didn't do much off screen. Uh, this is going to be a very short set. I'm going to be rushing through it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, the main reason why I'm rushing through this is because there is a DLC that was recently released for Inquisition that I really want to play. Okay. Now, we'll be going to Orzammar. Yay! Back home. In the opening cutscene, by the way, you should have seen a very interesting little um, video of... Not this. Of, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, us going to Orzammar. Um, I went there because I wanted to get some extra stuff for uh, Shale. Uh, um, you'll also see us meeting the atypical um, fangirl. Um, I promised her that I would go and introduce and uh, give a good word for her in the circle. So that's what we're going to be doing. Excuse me, I'll take a quick uh, drink of my drink. <sighs> Much better. Come on. Now let's see here. My call's red. The blight. Alright, we're doing a paragon of her kind. Sort of. Not you. <clears throat> there is so much to be done here. It will be a long and arduous process. Must. A dwarf? Such a thing is unheard of. The dwarves have no connection to the Fade and magic. Likely she's been taken in by fantastic stories about the wonders of magic. More fiction than fact. Did my audio just go out? There is so oh, much good. to be done here. It will be a long and arduous process. But thanks to you. Okay, so I have to tell Dagna about the truth about the circle. Sorry, Dagna. I really like her. She's really cute. Very spunky. You just want to go up there and give her a big hug. Alright, what we got here? How are you, buddy? Hey, what's up? You have fine weapon and arms, dwarven. What do you got? Well, it's cool, I'm starting to get the flawed stuff, too. Okay, um, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, crystals come in certain tiers. Flawed is the next best, so sweet. Yeah, I know you couldn't equip them yet. Oh well. Let's get the hell out of here. Those boots um, complete the physical appearance of the Ancient Elven set. Um, unfortunately, I think they're all currently sold to Bowden. Bowden, how do you pronounce it? So, yeah. Hmm. 
Say that again? Okay, then. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be rushing through this. I really want to get back to that DLC because I'm really curious about it. But I will still be staying in character of Suzuka, so I, you will not see me uh, break character with her. I'll do everything that she would normally do if I had more time. Hello. How can I... Oh, it's you. And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Then I will. I'll go right now. I'll do whatever it takes just to be there. Thank you for asking. That's more than anyone else has done for me. Of course. I always gotta, you know, uh, support the, the pursuit of knowledge. Okay, so what we need to do is find one of the two uh, dwarves that are currently vying to be king, Harrowmount or our brother, Balin. Guess which one we're going for. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking you. Really? Alright. Um. Shit. Still not enough. Wait. Fuck. I've been selling the wrong ones. Clear's better than flawed. God damn it. I'm also a little tired, so... Yeah. It's been a long day. Had a very emotionally, uh, trying day at, uh... Class today. Oh my god. Heard a very interesting, uh, story that I'm not going to go into because it's not my place to tell. But it was just emotionally draining to hear that story. <clears throat> It wasn't a good story, I'll leave it at that. Um, everything turned out good in the end, but... Damn! Okay, let's continue onwards. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. So, we will be... Going this way. We need to go to, um... What is it? Legion of the Dead Warriors secretly wear Prince Uh Assembly Hall, right up here. Here we are. Hey, buddy. Also, um, if you're watching my Let's Plays, I apologize for uh, yesterday's for Shioko. Um, as you could tell, it was a 10 part uh, set. I was mixing two, uh, mi I'm mixing two sets for that, and it, it took a lot longer to edit than I anticipated. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desher's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Forsaken fools and dusters. So it's true. The exile has returned, and we are to treat you as a respected guest. It's the one perk to this position, child. Or should I call you warden? I'm glad to hear the surfacers are making use of your talents. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont. 
and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Dulin Verender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman's estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. I heard you had returned to his exile. What insult do you mean by coming here? It's difficult to believe that. After you left, many cruel accusations fell on Balin. He could only assume they came from you. Why would he trust you now? You should leave Orzammar now, Exile. Seek whatever you wish on the surface, but there is nothing for you here. I won't be passing that message on, Exile. Your brother will be king soon. He's the one who decides who lives and who dies. Yeah, sure. If I have anything to say about it, nah. Now that cocky, arrogant son of a bitch is gonna die. Hello! I'm surprised to see you back, Exile. Lord Harrowmont asked me to find out why you're here. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the service. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. Lord Harrowmont always had too much affection for you. But I know you Idukins and your thirst for glory. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. <laughs> and this is to be your king. One who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Lord Harrowmont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Harrowmont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? I suppose not everyone can face death as undaunted as an Antiven, it's true. Then you agree to fight in Harriman's name. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Harriman would have no fear of meeting with you then. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harriman's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Alrighty then, time for another proving. Um, if you choose to align with uh, that dirty backstabbing motherfucking Balin, um, you can actually skip the proving entirely. Uh, you can do it if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, later on at least. Uh, he'll actually send you on a quest into the Deep Roads to uh, get that done. Two years tomorrow. We'll worry about that later. That was um, Ogren. Basically, he was arguing with the warrior cast about how no one is going after looking for, going to look for Paragon Bronca, who took the entire house, except for him, because he's actually married to Bronca, into the Deep Roads. And she's been there for two years, they haven't sent search parties out looking for her, and he's pissed that no one's doing that. And he usually gets drunk over at the uh, tavern. 
He also no longer allowed to carry a weapon inside the city because during a, a battle to the First Blood, he killed his opponent. Yeah. But since he gave um, some really good event or whatever, some, some really good happened while he was in the Deep Roads, they didn't kill him outright. They just took away his weapon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Are you still on about this one? I am led to believe that the crow would never put Continue onwards. <laughs> Come on. Alright then. So who the fuck is you? Myzel. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Well, that sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. I left the proving on my own business, and I have no intention of discussing it. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Rebelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. we were discreet, but she's married to a Desher's heir. He'd kill me if he knew. So I have to slink out of here like some worthless brand for fear Balin will tell the whole city. They have letters. Love letters Rebelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter, Miaja, has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Haramot again. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Uh, of course. Look, there's an easy way again through this. Let's see here. We need to go over here quickly. Do do do. I think. I think I need Zevron for this, though. Or at least someone that can pick a lock. All complete. And Zevron now can, thankfully. It is done. Alright then, yay! That was easy. Still no fucking clue why Zevron can't pick a lock. Innately. Uh, alternatively, you can actually uh, talk to the bitch, uh, kill her, and get the key from her corpse. Or convince her, to, convince her to give them to you. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I will be glad to fight for Haramont in the provings. Thank you again, friend. One of you knows who I am. And that he technically subs my cousin. That would be awkward. Hey, buddy. What's up? You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Which is why I was on my way out. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow, I don't think the Ancestors will favor me today. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Haramont's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. And where did you hear this, that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Uh, 
Your Highness, I, I, I didn't recognize you. I, I mean, now it's obvious, but you have the look of your father. But who would watch for such a thing? Do you truly mean Lord Harriman wants the throne? And you'll help him take it? Then I can do no less. Maybe I will at that. <laughs> Thank God he's, you know, dense as stone and doesn't, you know, pay attention to politics. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking dumbass. Didn't have to lie or anything. He's like, I am of House Adukin. Oh my god! Fucking dumbass. Alright, saving. Come on. God damn these long save times. <clears throat> Here we go. Yo, what's up? My lady, I dookin. Everyone thought you were dead. What are you doing back? Then I won't take another moment of your time. If you are looking to pay your respects, though, your brother called approving to honor your father's memory. Would you like to take part? I guess I should have seen that coming. Bad blood with your brother and all. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I'll just call you Grey Warden, since you're no longer of House Iduka. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. Let's do this! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paradons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Heramot's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan and our future King Balan. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Bring it! They're all so eager. Oh. oh, fuck you, bitch. I have blocked the butt of my sword. Fuck you, man. The winner is the Grey Warden. That was an exciting start, Warden. Sawern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior casts twin terrors, now fighting for Prince Balan, Biaja, and Luke John. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Bring it! Ah, uh, took us one, huh? That should do a bullet off. So. 
Do you have any uh, buffs in this fucker? Easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Aramont's champion cleared the stone, but can she hold out against the paragons' own favorites, the Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her wealth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Sure, is it. Lovely. Oh. And to the forehead. Stay down. The winner is the Grey Warden. Aramon will be pleased with Simon Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat! Just as Kiatshet Fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face. Bojack, Ivo, and Balans. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Bring it! Let's go, Zebron. Alright. I really should upgrade Zebron's weapons. I haven't done that since forever. Good job, buddy. The winner is the Grey Warden. Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Haramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain, fighting for his royal cousin Balin, Kyoten Idukan has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramon, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing who stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You should not have returned. What a disgrace. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! As it is with me. I'm out my my whole party, good. 
the time for an actual challenge, by the looks of it. Bring it. Remove any buffs. Down you go. Oh, fuck you. Good. We're good. Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. I'd call that arrogant, but your performance justifies it. It was a gift, just to watch you fight, Warden. Alright, let's keep on going then. I'm sorry I didn't let the other guys fight, but <laughs> they suck. I'm used to my party. Plus, we get a little bit more flair going on there, you know? Freaking Golem, a mage? Yeah. Golem, a mage, and a, a freaking Antivan Crow. Yeah, that's that's gonna be an interesting battle. Those powerful foe slain. Grand Oak. I still feel bad for killing that oak. He was one, one of my favorite um, NPCs so far. At least in this game. There we go. <clears throat> now we're going to talk to Haramount. Haramount. Hopefully we won't be, won't, we won't be jumped by any, uh, the air dwells. The very witch from legend. Is that not true? There is nothing supposed about I need to talk to... Guy, who's in here getting plastered. Where is he? He's in the back. Okay. Also, I did notice the glitchiness uh, during the battles. I apologize for that. I will get to it as soon as I can to fix it. They're everywhere. I can't take it. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Meisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. His lordship is eager to see you again. I bet he's curious to hear my side story instead of Balin's, you know, a uh, couple months of just going, yeah, 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 she killed him. I heard her, heard her talk about it all the time. Even though I didn't say a damn thing hinting towards that. The closest I got to it was a little, you know, familial hostility. But that's, you know, common between siblings. I mean, me and my sister used to bump heads all the time. Hmm. That sounded dirtier than I intended it to be. <laughs> we used to um, fight all the time. There we go. I must say, after your parting words, I did not expect to see you again. Whatever your role in Trian's death, I cannot believe Balin is guiltless. I am glad you found a new place among the Grey Wardens. I've a broken heart in my view. Some say Balin poisoned him, but I never left Engine's side, and I don't see how. Balin did kill him, but only by what he did to you. He knew what Poor King Balin would make. He saw it sooner than the rest of us. One of his last requests was that I carry out his wishes as Orzammar's next king. It was the greatest honor of my life.
I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin, first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Harrowmont has never been king, and I always assumed Treant would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? The Assembly receives pleas every day from the common folk, begging that something be done about her. So far, no one has managed. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balan, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Javier in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. Oh boy. Okay, let's go slaughter some dwarves. Alright, where are we going? How do I get the hell out of here? Oh, there's the door. Okay, let's go. Fun little side note, um, if you play as the Dwarven Commoner, you actually play as a castless dwarf. Um, basically the casts are uh, the Nobility, that's the top, uh, followed by the Deshers, which uh, run the Assembly. Then I believe it's the Warrior casts, followed by the Smithing casts, the artisans and then stuff like that. Then finally the castless or the servants and then the castless. The castless are basically um how do I put it? They're not even viewed as citizens anymore. They're not even viewed as anything anymore. Just there. A uh a blight on the um people of Orzammar. So yeah. Uh, if you play as a commoner dwarf, you play as a castless dwarf who works with the Karna, which is pretty interesting. Alright, we gotta go in here quickly. Hey, buddy. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Get out of here. This is private business. Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. I don't ever want to do that. It's like, really, guys? Really? Bring it. Oh, we guess coward bastards. All right, then. Let's continue onwards. Just as soon as it loads. There we go.
I'll worry about her quest, uh, the next set, as well as his quest. But for now, we're gonna kill these guys. Um, the quest to my left actually is, uh, not going to be able to be completed until the, uh, next set where we're going to do drones. Um, the one up there, you can complete right away. But Suzuka's not gonna do it because it goes against her character. Yay, thank you. Into this time we go. You know, there's actually a lot of quests Suzuka won't do just due to her personality, now that I think about it. Hi! Ah, uh, more thugs. Come on, just, just, just... Roll over and die, bitch. Dead. Lovely. Alright. And in here we should have something pretty nice. If memory serves, that is. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Of course. Alright. That's a fucking idiot. Alright. Uh, Ever Boots probably the effort set's actually a pretty good set. That's it, really. For all that. And that. Alright then. Um, I'm actually going to uh, let the recorder re uh, rest for a little bit so I can get rid of that glitchiness. I must go to sleep for a little bit so I can stop being so damn tired. So I will uh, be right back, guys.